Rod Williams Show. Coming to you live. With the best in talk radio. Welcome to the T. Gerard Williams Show. This is T. Gerard Williams. And as always, we thank you for tuning in and seeing what we are doing and seeing what we're talking about. Because, you know, if the reason that you're talking about it is because we're talking about it. Hey, listen, my friends. Today on the line, I have Andrea McCall from Brooksville, Illinois. And Andrea is doing a crowdfunding campaign on GoFundMe to help out in a little life situation that she's going through right now. So, Andrea, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Hey, listen, welcome to the call, first of all, and thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, all right. Hey, listen, I understand, listen, I understand that life comes at you sometimes so fast that if you don't duck, you just get beamed up out the head, and before you know it, you're dazed and on the ground and don't know how you got there. So I realize that you and your family are going through some uh, hard times right now, so can you share that with my audience and, and what the GoFundMe page is all about? Uh, yeah, actually, it's uh, pretty interesting that you described it that way because that's actually one of the reasons why we're in the situation. My husband was literally beamed in the head and ended up on the ground. Um, uh, earlier this year in May, uh, my husband is a pizza delivery driver and he was making a delivery to a not very good neighborhood and ended up getting mugged and beaten. He was uh, hit in the head a couple of times with a metal pipe. And um, so he was out of work for a little over a month and a half to his injuries. Uh, thankfully, you know, he didn't um, suffer any major brain damage or anything like that, but he, he had problems with his eyes whole, you know, right side of his face was swollen. He couldn't see out of his eye for a while. It, it was it was pretty nasty. Um, but because he's our only uh, income right now, we fell really far behind. And he, you know, he, he went back to work. He's working right now. But business is really slow for him. And so we've just been falling farther and far, farther behind. And we actually uh, tried to work it out with our landlord, um, but he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to have anything to do with that. We had actually found a charity at uh, one point, maybe like two months ago, uh, that was willing to pay our back rent as long as he signed a paper saying that he wouldn't kick us out. Well, he wanted us out, so he refused the money. So that's why, you know, we're in the situation that we're in. It's uh, because my husband was mugged and beaten. Uh, there's a court, a criminal court case going on right now because we live in Cook County. It takes forever for the court cases to actually get moving. Uh, they still have his, uh, the Attorney General has his keys that the guy threw in the, the gutter, his phone. So, yeah, and it's just, now all the all the charities, because it's the end of the year, they have you no know, funds. The charity that we did have, they, they ran out of funds because we couldn't take them. And so I can't work because I have, uh, you know, some disabilities. I have ulcerative colitis, which is a uh, chronic um, autoimmune disease where basically my immune system attacks my colon, causing it to bleed and have, you know, many other, um, let's say, bowel problems, keep it PG, um, severe abdominal right. cramping, pain, and I also have back problems. I have a uh, hypermobility of the spine, which means that basically my spine moves in uh, directions it's not supposed to, and uh, it causes severe pain. So I'm physically unable to work at the moment. So um, all I do is care for my 10-month-old daughter, which is not <laughs> exactly an easy job sometimes, seeing as she's very <laughs> precocious 
and loves getting into things. We call her our little mm-hmm. monkey because she's climbing on everything. Always into stuff. Mm. Wow, sounds like you guys are between a rock and a hard place. Wow. <sighs> Unfortunately. Yeah. So listen, I understand that, that um, you've reached out to some of the charities, like you said, and, and I know the funds are dried up because, uh, you know, I, we are in that same situation down here in Miami. Mm-hmm. So a lot of my friends are, are going through some of the most difficult times, and it's all related to money. If you had all the money you needed, it would, all your problems would seem to go away. Uh, wow. But uh, we sympathize with you, and we certainly applaud you for at least trying to go ahead and do something on the crowdfunding front. Because, you know, we're crowdfunders here. All, most of my listeners are, are crowdfunders, and so we, we definitely applaud you for that. Um, how's that going, by the way? Uh, well, we've had three donations of $5, so it, it is starting to trickle in. But we actually have until the end of this week mm-hmm. to vacate the premise, or the um, sheriff will forcibly remove us. And so um, after the end of this week, we don't have anywhere to go. And so we need some funds to, if we can't find a place by the end of this week, to at least, you know, move us into a, you know, low-cost motel until we can find one. My goodness. Uh, that was a, I thought it was a small rock, but this is a big rock and a hard place that you're in between. It's like a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we we only we only have a two door car and with a five month uh, I'm sorry ten month old. Time really gets away with you. I keep forgetting how old she is. <laughs> so actually, be one. She was bo- she was born on um, New Year's Day. She'll be one on New Year's Day. Um, but being in living out of a car, a two door car with a ten month old in Chicago winter is not exactly something that I would like to do. Um, I don't know if you've heard the news lately, but the last couple of years, they've called, they've dubbed um, Chicago weather Siberia because it's so bitterly cold in Chicago that it's like Russia's Siberia winter. Mm, I know how that is. Are you? (laughs) Bad. We uh, spent a couple of uh, trips of it. Uh, coming from Miami, we came up to Chicago and uh, hung out for a week or so. And then uh, we told people all the time, hey, listen, we, we're bringing the Florida sunshine with us. Because when we were there around Thanksgiving, it was uh, unseasonably uh, warm. But the day we left, the day after, they, they had such a blizzard that they had to close down the old, uh, O'Hare. So it was like, wow. So I know yeah, it's really, really fantastic. Yeah, so... Yeah, the last, last uh, couple man. of winters have not been good. No, no. Well, listen, we're, we're, we're going to go here and say, let me just tell my audience something. We always reach out and we help everybody that, that we can. I know that times are hard. I realize that Thanksgiving trip is coming up. But you know what? All they're asking for is that if everybody that, that can and will donate just $5 to the cost, just Donate five dollars. They're not asking for all the money. I mean, you can think about it. They they got to move, and they've got to move to another place. So they've got to come up with security. They've got to come up with the rent. They got to come up with the um, utility uh, stuff, moving um, fees, storage fees, food, you name it. So it's like starting all over. And if you can help out with just five dollars, my friends, I tell you, you can make a difference. You can make a big difference. Your little bit of money. With my little bit of money and their little bit of money, man, we can make a big difference. So listen, I'm asking you, I'm urging you, if you're listening live or if you're listening to the rebroadcast, go ahead and see if you, if you can do something. Uh, and, and time is of the essence now, my friends, because we really have to make a gigantic move. We don't want the sheriff to come knocking on the door. We want, if the sheriff comes, it's like, hey, thank you for coming. We're leaving anyway. Bye-bye. So do that for me, my friends, and we'll, we'll try to help out the McCarrolls and in Illinois. All right. Okay. So, Andrea. Uh-huh. First of all, I understand that this is a stressful time. So, uh, are you taking care of your health? 
Um, I've actually been having problems with my health. Uh, stress can um, activate um, flares in my ulcerative colitis, and if they get bad, I end up in the hospital. And in the past, I've actually been hospitalized for this. It, um, hospitalization is not uncommon with ulcerative colitis. And um, I've been talking to my husband saying, you know, I really hope that we can get this figured out because I've been having issues. I've been not good lately. And we, we can't have me end up in the hospital because if I end up in the hospital, we have nobody to watch our baby while my husband works. And my husband will have to stop working to watch the baby. And we have no money, not even the little money that we have coming in right now, but with no money coming in which will put us in even a worse spot. Mm, wow. I tell you, I, I really feel bad about what you're going through, especially when this, you know, comes about as no direct result of what you did. I mean, you know, you, you were victimized, you know, and your family was victimized, your husband, and certainly, you know, you're reaping the benefits of, of, of a bad thing that nobody should have to go to. Uh, well, listen, I'm praying that, that everything will work out for you. Um, I'm asking my, my listeners to, to step up a little bit and, and try to help out. Um, and because time is of the essence, once again, you know, we want to try to move as quickly as we can. I'm going to take this interview and I'm going to go ahead and blast it straight out today on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to blast it out on YouTube. Uh, they love our show on Twitter, so it's going to go out on Twitter all over. And so, prayerfully, people will step up and, and help you out because, you know, it, it, it's a situation that can happen to anybody at any time. I always tell people that, you know, we're just a paycheck or two away from being homeless. And so, we're living in some perilous times right now. So, with that being said, Andrea, uh, Talk to the people one time. Just, just, just go ahead and make this last appeal to, to those who might be listening and, and those who, whose hearts that you can touch right now with your story. All right, thanks. I just wanted to thank everybody for listening to my, our situation, and I wanted to thank you guys for your prayers. And you know, we're like, you know, like you said, you know, this could have happened to anybody. Anybody could have been mugged. You know, this is not something that we did to ourselves. Um, you know, you know, we're not asking people to donate. You know, fifty, hundred dollars, five dollars. You know, if you can't donate, we totally understand. You know, share, share the story. You know, maybe you can share it to somebody who can give five dollars. Five dollars isn't that much. You know, a cup of coffee. A hamburger, you know, pack your lunch instead. Um, I just I really appreciate you guys helping us out in any way possible that you can, and thank you for your prayers. It really means a lot to us. All right, my friends, you heard Andrea, and you heard her story. You see what the situation is. It's up to you now to make the difference. So with that being said, my friends, this is T.J. Rod Williams with the T.J. Rod Williams Show. And as always, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye now. If you're talking about it, it's because we're talking about it. Williams show.